Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. So today we're uploading an older video, just checking for uh, monetization again, see if I can do these kinds of videos. And today we're looking at my top 20 Ippons for Ono Shohei. So this first one, um, just dominant grips, strong forward pressure leading into the Osotogari. It's quite amazing how he finishes this, this with those grips. Um, next one, Tomoe Nage uh, from the Olympics. The beauty about this is this leg right here that just controls him on the way down. Uh, it's quite spectacular. I'd love to know if he practices this or it's just a habit that he's developed. This is a classic uh, Ono Shohei Ushimata where he spins on his right front foot and then he's got an awkward uh, double sleeve grip. This next one is just a fantastic counter. You know, he's got dominant grips. And then the guy from Portugal, you know, thinks he's going one way, but he's actually going a different way. He gets turned into a beautiful Osotogari. 16. So one of the reasons why Ono takes this armpit grip is so he can you know, get power generating from, from his legs underneath his opponent. And yeah. This one's a bit different, a bit more classic, uh, going for the you know, immediate grip to attack. And okay, Ariki, he, he goes over. Number 14, this is, you know, well-known, famous uh, Ippon from earlier on in Ono Shohei's career. Incredible lift from the Tsujimata. Alright, number 13. So similar to the early on uh, Osotogari, number 20, that forward pressure. And then he gets him as he goes for the overhand grip. I think this is a counter to overhand grip, so uh, the Georgians should really watch out for that one. Very Mariana like uh, Uchimata there. Both hands on one side of the sleeves. That's very hard to execute right there. Number 11. Uh, I love how the guy goes for the back grip and then Ono just breaks it with a bit of movement and then immediately goes in for the entry. Have to include this one because, you know, this is what he won a gold medal for. Uh, another trait of Ono's game is, you know, forward pressure and getting under people. Here's a similar uh, Osotogari to the one we just saw. You know, uh, getting away from that overhand grip and then attacking. Such control. Number 8 just really goes over for the Tsuchimata. Look at that. Alright, number 7. This was a hard match for Ono. Took him a while to actually get the throw. But once again, he's got such rotation when he goes in for the Uchimata. Yeah, that's amazing. Look at the rotation. Bro, that's, that's incredible. You know, once he's set in the throw, it's like he, he's got, you know, extra strength to just pull the person around. Well, he's got, a, he's on one leg, you know. have to include some Ashiwaza. You don't see many of these from Ono scoring, you know, Wazari or Ippon. Usually just uses it to uh, set the opponent's balance. So a recent Ippon. Uh, this is high up on the list for me because uh, I'm a tall fighter and I fight many Japanese uh, judoka who are shorter than me and 
for me, I can just kind of like ride the Uchimata, but the way Ono, you know, takes a taller opponent over for an Uchimata like this, like you can kind of see it, Harry, uh, you know, moves his thigh into Orojov's uh, right leg, his supporting leg, like here he goes up, and then he moves his leg over here. Uh, yeah, that's amazing to me. Number four. I mean, this is the classic Ono Shohei. Move to the left, go for the Osotogari, but it couldn't be executed more perfectly, I think. Number three, uh, Ipon from earlier on in his career, but just a great show of breaking balance and then moving in for the Uchimata. Kind of reminds me of uh, Inoue Kosei a little bit. Number two, great counter. You know, just shows Ono's got great diversity. And my number one, uh, Top Ippon, which is coming up, is, in my mind, just amazing. So it has to be also the Gari, his classic technique, forward pressure, and then the way he just like drives, you know, with all that leg power. It's kind of, most Osotogaris, the classics are kind of, you know, you start tall and then you, you know, reap downwards, but almost like pushing the person up with his legs before, you know, following through with the technique, which is quite impressive. Anyway, guys, uh, hopefully this video gets monetized and I can continue to push these videos out there, but uh, you can always support me on Patreon. So head on over. Uh, there will be Patreon only content once the uh, IGF circuit starts up again. So if you want to get on board early, you can do that. But uh, for now, that is all. See you later.